From Debbie'sDesignDiary.com, it's Serial DIY, one house repurposed week by week. I'm Deborah Beard. This is Episode 3, The Ombre Effect. If you're not familiar with this series, I moved into an empty house and I'm going to DIY everything from the thrift store. Nothing is going to be new. The sofa was $20. The island was $175. And these bar stools were $12 each. And this is episode three. It's gonna go with this hot pink right here. This one is gonna be shades of blue and aqua. I don't know which color to paint the third one yet. That's what we're doing today, the bar stools. Episode three, DIY house makeover series. To pick up where we left off in the last episode, my dad reluctantly helped me build a kitchen island from a 1970s dresser. This week we'll paint the seating. I found these bar stools months before the island was created, not knowing if they would work. That's how it is with DIY. You have to follow your instincts. I mixed together Kissing Booth and Summer Crush to create a hot peach color. Visit my blog for more color mixing recipes or share your favorite mixes in the comments. Summer Crush right here, and then down at the very bottom is the Cowgirl Coral. I'm gonna mix the Fancy Farm Girl with the Queen Bee, and that's gonna create this citrus green kind of situation for this area, and that's gonna be the next bar stool that we do. I mix two parts of Queen Bee with one part Fancy Farm Girl to create a citrus shade of green. I covered the seat with Fancy Farm Girl and then applied the citrus mix on the spindles, overlapping the color as I worked my way down. For an ombre effect, experiment by going dark to light or light to dark. Here I added Queen Bee to the bottom because I like bright color. However, a lighter shade of green would work too. Here is the queen bee area right here. I really wanted to add the yellow factor into it because Deborah, it means the bee, busy bee, industrious one. We just have one more to do and that is gonna be three different blue shades. Started off here with Hey Sailor, the same color I used to paint the kitchen island. Then I moved on to Mermaid Tail and finally Old 57. Ombre can be achieved in a variety of ways. Here I'm using pops of color, but you can use the same color, breaking it down with white, getting lighter and lighter as you go. It's up to you. So now all we have to do to the bar stools is wax them. And we're gonna use a soft cloth to rub the color back and then they will be finished. Because I'm using a clay-based paint, it distresses easily with water. Here I'm rubbing the color back with a damp cloth. This adds to the ombre effect, as the two colors blend together when they overlap or are layered on top of each other. I don't know if you can see it or not. You put your hand right here and then you can work the wax into the furniture. You work it in like this in a circular motion and then you wait you sleep on it and you come back the next day and you buff it out. DIY paint dries to a very flat finish and deepens dramatically with wax. Apply a small amount. Too much wax will prolong the drying time. Allow to dry overnight and buff with a soft cloth. You can see how the wax brings out the detail and intensifies the color. Once dry, the color will lighten to a shade in between flat and freshly waxed. Be sure and subscribe if you don't want to miss next week's episode. I found an old, ugly refrigerator off of Craigslist. It's just ugly. It's plain, it's white, it needs a makeover. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Tune in next week as I share how to add style to an ugly Craigslist refrigerator. Check out my Pinterest board and let me know which idea you would like to see. Click the link below to find DIY paint near you or to sell it in your store. To find out more about this series and how to become part of my design team, visit my Patreon profile. All links are below. Thanks for watching.